Here we've got two data sets. One data set we have outside temperature predicting or trying to predict the number of library library books on loan at a public library. And here we've got potentially a high correlation where we've got outside temperature predicting the total minutes walking outside. So let's use the corel function equals corel to find the correlation between two variables. So are they co-related? So I'll select for array one, the outside temperature, hit the comma, then select my second array, the library books on loan. And we see a correlation of negative 0.23. So it's not very high. So if we just square that value, that will give us the value of what's called R squared, which is the percentage of variance that we're explaining. So here, temperature is explaining about 5.5% of the variance in people checking out books. Uh, so it's not, not really a fantastic predictor. Uh, we can select this. Let's take a look at the scatter plot just to see if that kind of matches our intuition. So we can add a trend line here. And it's going down. Uh, a completely horizontal trend line would show no correlation whatsoever. So there is a very small correlation here, but it's not going to be a big predictor. We're not going to change. We're probably not going to change our library staffing levels based on the temperature. Let's take a look at this next example. So we're going to do another correlation equals corel. The outside temperature will be array one, hit the comma. Total minutes walking outside will be array two. And the correlation there is very high. So let's see when we square that. So we'll just multiply it by itself. We get a value of uh, 97.3%. So the temperature explains 97.3% of the variation in how much time people spend walking outside. So let's create a scatter plot. Select my data, insert a scatter plot. Okay, we can see just eyeballing this data, it looks pretty highly related. So we add a trend line. That line seems to fit the data pretty well. So that's good. That's what we like to see if we're looking for a relationship between two variables. So if I were to make a prediction, like if I want to open up a lemonade stand and I want to know how much foot traffic there is going to be, well, the outside temperature seems to be a very good predictor of how many people are going to be out walking. So we have two examples here. We have a weak correlation and a strong correlation. Looking at the, the corel function, we can get a, a number that measures that. We can square that to get the percentage of variance explained. And it's always good to use scatter plots to visually represent the data just to help us double check if everything is looking the way that we expect it to look.